Hello everyone, welcome back to another session. We are on a kettlebell session today. I hope you've been enjoying them up to now. I hope you've been having fun. I hope you've been putting the effort in, putting the graft in. I hope you've been enjoying the other videos as well. Make sure to keep commenting and liking them so I know that you're interacting. Because the last thing I want is to be spending time doing this and then you finish isolation at the end of however many weeks we're going to be doing it for and think, oh, I should have done more. I should have really have been... Uh, stuck in more to the project. You're not going to get many chances like this to be able to get given tailor-made workouts for you to do at home um, and for you to be able to progress and improve. So make sure that you're interacting with the page so I know that you're staying involved. Now we're going to be doing a kettlebell session today. I'm going to run through. We are doing nine different exercises. The only thing that you need for this session is a kettlebell and also a chair of some sort. Uh, and I will show you why as we go through the workouts here. So there's presumably going to be an upper body workout today. Uh, just working the top half of our bodies, uh, really burning through those muscles there. As I know the last few sessions, um, and especially Monday's session, was all core. Um, so I want to be able to do something that's going to target a different area of the body. So we're going to start with a push press, uh, which is the one that we've done many times before. So we have our kettlebell. It's going to be up in our position here. And you're just going to be given a little bounce on the shoulder. You're going to be going up. You can see how close my arm is to my ear. You want to want you close you want to get it to get a full stretch down your body, back down, catching it on the way down, bringing the elbow back up. So you're down, up, down, out. Just like that. So the bend in the knees is important so you're not putting all the strain on your lower back. You can see when it's down, I'm pushing to push through it. And then as it comes down, catching it again on the legs and then bringing it back out. So doing that right hand side, then left hand side. Then we're going to be doing a thing called pull throughs. Now pull throughs basically is that you're going to be standing in a press up position, arms out. And your job is that you have to pull the kettlebell through from one side to the other. Just like that. Pull it past your arm so that you have to do a stretch to be able to go and to be able to grab it. So you can see here from what I've got, down press up position, I'm going to be grabbing, pulling through. Stop. Grab, pull through, just like that. You're going to be doing 30 seconds of doing that. Then we are doing a power upright row, which is what we have done before. Having it down, feet shoulder width apart, and you're leading with the elbows right up to the chin, and then slowly taking it back down. You want to be explosive coming up, and you want to be slow going back down. The time it takes you to do a breath, so make sure your breathing is important on this. So it's like that. Next we're going to be doing the bent over rows. We're not going to be working the legs on this. Bent over rows are normally brutal for the legs. But what I want you to do is get a good starting position. Feet just apart like that. You lean them down, back nice and straight, not slumped over, but back nice and straight. And you're just driving that up into the armpit there and slowly back down, getting that tension on the arm. So we're going to do right hand side and then we're going to do left hand side the same, just leaning in, chest going over the front knee. And you're just driving that weight up. Then we are doing curls and tricep dips. So basically what you've got to do here, you have your kettlebell holding it by the horns. You have it down on the ground like that. And you just curl it up, up into the air, back down, up, back down, drop. Up, up into the air, down for the triceps, back up, down, drop. And doing that, then we're going to be doing plank touches which is sitting in your plank position and then reaching the arm out to touch the kettlebell. Make sure that it's a good distance away from you so you're getting a proper reach out. Not quite full stretched arms, but close enough so that you've got a good distance on it. You can see how far away I am from the kettlebell. And I'm here when I'm doing the plank. You're just reaching out and we're going to be touching the top of the kettlebell just like that. And then we're going to be finishing with dips. That's what you need the chair for. You can see it's not for sitting on. But what you've got to do is stretch your legs out so that your legs aren't bent. And then you're just dipping down, fit bum as close to the ground as you can, bringing it back up, locking out the arms at the top. So you can see, my legs are all the way out. They're not going to be like that, they're not going to be bending. Legs are fully stretched out. And you're just dropping down, back up. Dropping down, back up and lock out at the top. And that's going to be our nine exercises. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to do a bit of a warm-up, warm-up the top half of our body. And then we'll get stuck into the session. So first one, all I want you to do is just put the arm across the body, lock it up with the other arm. Just like that. Make sure you're pulling it nice and tight with the arm that's locking it in place. You get the stretch of the shoulder there. Lovely day today. I'm indoors doing this. So 
I hope that you appreciate it and hope that you do it and go hard. Shake it out, swap it over. Open it in place. Good stretch of that shoulder there. Go. Nice and arm up over the top. Grabbing the elbow, just pulling it so it's in place there. Pull up the back of the arms, and so we're going to be working biceps and triceps today as well as chest. Uh, a little bit of core involved on the plank touches, but generally it's going to be arms. Uh, so you want to make sure that they're well warmed up for this session. And lean into it for me. Good. Shake it off and swap it over. Stretch, just pulling the arm that's holding it, just pulling the elbow slightly towards the head so you can just feel it's starting to stretch up the back of the tricep there. And leaning into it. Okay, so you feel that stretch right at the side of your body. Next one, you're going to be having elbows up, just the chest length, just swinging out like we've done before. Just twisting it around, two little stretches on each side. Problem, but I'm going to give you 30 seconds, grab some water, and then we're going to get started on the session. Here we go, 15 seconds, and we're going to get started. I'm glad that you are all joining me. You can see my depletion of kettlebells here, so I know that you've all got them at home and enjoying them. We're going to start with this push press. So sit, pick your arm that you want to go through. Don't let the other arm join in. Keep that for balance. There we go. Just push the rock back down. Out. Still on. Down and out. Pressure off that back by catching it and bending the knees. Put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, that's good. Shake it off, give yourself a bit of a break. I'm going to keep on with the kettlebell. 25 seconds to rest. Just let go of it. Glad to know there's no active rest today. You're just working on it, working on it, resistance, pushing through it. All targeting this one part of the body here. And there we go, five seconds, pick it up. There we go. And getting that arm um, nice and close to the ear, locking it out at the top, right by the ear. A good stretch right up your body. Still on. I'm halfway through now, come on. Start, right, 
like we're going to be doing these pull throughs next. So, so if you've got your arms straight here on the press, that sort of the press up position, you want the kettlebell to be sort of over here. You're dragging it through to over here. So make sure you're getting a good amount of range to be able to stretch your arm pull through. I'm also going to be off the mat. Right, there we go. Through to the other side. Lift it if you can, if you can't, and just drag it through. It's nice and aggressive, with your body nice and flat. a nice controlled movement as we said you want to be explosive coming up leading with the elbows don't want it up like this you want it up leading slowly bringing it back down nice big breath big breath in on the way up slow breath out on the way back down right there we go see a lot of tension on the arms you're taking it nice and slow. Start to feel it in your arms, feel it in your chest, feel it in your shoulders. Keep that control. There we go. Right, got our bent over rows next. As I said, this isn't the lean and down one. Just you hold a nice position, one foot in front of the other. Keep that chest out, it'll help you keep the back nice and straight. Leaning over the front, bend the knee, with the leg nice and straight. In your chest, over your knee, and then you're just bringing it up, rolling it up into your armpit. Again, slowly back down. Again, big breath in. Slow breath out. Nice and controlled, so I'm start to arch that back. That's done. Good. There we go. I've got our left hand side over next. I'll do this one sideways so you can see how the straight is keeping the back. You keep yourself nice and controlled and in good position, in good form. Switching the legs as well, remember. Whatever side the kettlebell is on, your other leg is the one that's coming forward. There we go. As you can see, back's nice and straight. Leaning over the knee. If you really can't carry on doing it, then just use your other hand to rest on your leg. I recommend trying to keep the back straight, keep the arm just for balance. Power on the way up, controlled on the way down. Good. And so we've got these curls next. Remember you're holding it by the horns, holding it upside down. Arms nice and straight, curling it up, pushing up, behind you, back up, back down. Curl again. Getting two lots of curls coming out of this one, which is good. Hopefully your kettlebell is a little bit smaller than mine. Give you Easier row. Down. Up. Up. Kill. Up. Down. Row. Up. Down. Up. Down. Row. That's one. In good form. Good, hope you enjoyed that one. Just try and keep that form, especially on the tricep, it's easy enough to drop your arms. You've got to keep those arms nice and straight, just be bending at the elbows. Now we've got our plank touches next. 
And the kettlebells far away from you as you can, in a good stretch. I said not quite reaching for it, but just long enough that you're almost full length. There we go. Good point. Touch. side of your sofa, do it with a kitchen chair, totally up to you. Oh good, that's our nine, give it a minute's break and we go again. Seconds left, we're going to get stuck back into this, back into these push presses again. As I said, you want to just get that bounce, keep that bounce on your knees. There we go. Push. Catch. Each time you just extend your arm up, that little bit extra. Up, down. Once again, flap and over there. Using those legs for help. Slow it now for that. Oh, good. Oh. We're targeting all this upper body here. The arms are going to get sore, especially towards the end of this set. Plow through, so keep going, really push those muscles, start to rip them, start to grow them a little bit. Start burning the fat inside your body. Going through those carbs like we were talking about the other day. And hopefully when it's done, you haven't got any carbs left, your body will start to eat the fat. And that's how you start to lose the weight. You've got to be consistent. You've got to want it. Here we go. pull-throughs again, and so if you're using a mat like mine, you want to aim to have the kettlebell come off the mat at either side while you're pulling them through. That way it gives you a good reach. Keep the arms on the mat, push the kettlebell past the mat, and you pull them through to the other side. Right, there we go. So keeping that body nice and flat. It's almost like planking away. A little bit of core work, as well as working on the arms. Power up 
right row next. Oh. Keeping it nice and controlled. I said, big breath in, slow breath out. Really contracting those muscles. Oh. Right, there we go. Control my breathing. There we go. Oh, right, let's get our bent over rows coming up next. Again, I say just one leg in front of the other, straight, leaning out, and just plowing up into the armpit. Same as what you do with the upright row, explosive on the way up, control the other way down. Sideways this side, so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see I'm not bending as much as well, I'm just leaning. Putting all the weight, all the pressure onto it, we're starting to hurt. And you're also just working that arm. Just giving those, tighten up those biceps, working them hard. Right, we go on the other side. Keep that back straight. curls with the tricep dip. So I say, you're not looking to move the arms up, keeping the arms nice and tight here, rowing it up, pushing up into the air, rowing it again, nice and tight. These parts of your arms don't move, they take all the pressure, all the strain. Right, here we go. Ready? Go flip it upside down, all by the horns. Nice and straight. Up, up. the whole time, don't let those arms get loose, take the straight where you're meant to take it, you may cheat yourself if you don't. Good. Now we've got our plank touches and our dips and we're done for set two. Two more exercises then we get the break. Right, here we go. Now we go. Make sure you're keeping the body nice and flat. Don't start to arch. Press up. There we 
go. Lock it over the top. Um, lock it over the top. Those elbows nice, locked in. Ready, psych yourself up, and then you're down, you're up, you're locked. One more, more. Good, right. Oh, minutes break. Back to the third set. You're not counting this one. Seconds left, we're gonna get this last set done and dusted. Go so back to the push presses again, and then go up by your side. And off you go. Take your time with it on each one of them to be done properly. Good. So it's all quality, it's about quantity. Good, steady pace. Here we go, keep pushing it. Oh. And done, done, good. Oh. 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 Nice. Good, you feel so much better after finishing the set like this. And done, we get dusted, smash it out, finish. Next well, you'll be feeling this next couple of days in your arms, you'll feel this. You've done it properly. There we go. Oh, so if you feel one of the ones who's moved on to a bit of a heavier kettlebell than what you used to. You'll be feeling this for the next couple of days. And next week is challenge week. So there won't be a video for the kettlebell session next week. We'll be doing a challenge instead that I'll be setting you and I expect you to do it and let me know how you get on. Right, so oh. that's the last time I need to do that. I've right, got these pull-throughs next. So keeping them as far away from you as you can, dragging it through. Drag it through if you can, rest on my mat. Uh, if you can't drag it through, lift it through if you can. Probably a harder way to be able to do it. Um, so it'll be good for you more at the end. There we go. I'm going to keep that body nice and straight like a plank. There we go. Come on, keep going. Nice pace to it. And a couple more left. Good. Oh. Right. Power up right round next. So that's the bit of those two. It's a nice controlled movement this one. Make sure you're keeping those elbows. Don't sure you're trying to lift it up like that. Lead with the elbows. That's just going to put the pressure on the shoulders. Start working them. Put the tension on it. There we go.
next we've got these bent over rows coming in again. So as I said, just same as before, just opposite leg to the one that you to the, to the arm that you're holding the kettlebell with, leaning over the top of that knee. Make sure you're not standing straight, leaning over, keeping that back straight, chest proud as you can see. You're just driving it in, slowly taking it back down again. See, I'm driving that arm up and I get it right into that armpit. Try and get it off chest level. You're going to smack it into your ribs. Good. Oh, right, last one on these. Bent over rows, done another three more to go and we're finished. So we're just up the exercise level a little bit this time, just going to the nine movements instead of the eight or the seven. Working a little bit harder. There we go. See me button up, if you've got a mirror, you can help you keep good form. And use it. Make sure keeping yourself right. Well, it's only you that's missing out. Uh, right. Let's go our kale and tricep dips next. I said you've got it upside down on you. It's almost leaning out as you can see there when I've got it flat. I'm going to curl it up into the position that we want it in to be able to do the rest of the movement. Keeping those arms nice and tight, nice and close to the body all the time. There we go. Curl up, curl up. See my arms are nice and tight. Touches next, and we finish with dips. And we're done. This is a good day. If you've got kids and you're doing exercises with them, you've got the two exercises coming from me, the two exercises that I'm doing with the kids. There's plenty to go on while you're in isolation. Here we go. Plenty to keep you busy, plenty to keep you moving. straight, nice flat body, working the abs, lifting the arms, tension in those shoulders. Good. Nice, we're finishing with these dips. And we are done. Oh, a good session. Oh, warm day here, yeah, so roast inside this room is coming with the sweat box. Good, a bit more sweat out. Bottom just nearly touching the ground if you can. Locking it back out to the top. Those legs straight. One. Oh. Done. Oh. Very good. That's our body session done. Then make sure that you send me the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know that you're still doing it, that you've carried on doing these workouts all the time. And I will see you next week 
for our hit session and our kettlebell challenge. Enjoy, have a good weekend. See you in the back.